Hello, hello, hello. I'm going to explain this, I promise. Um, I broke a hole in my roof, and my dad told me that I should add a, add a um, fireman's pole to slide down, so that's what I did. <laughs> I just put a twisting vine there. Um, so we're going to be working on... Well, you saw the freaking title. We're working on a runway. At least I think that's what I'm going to call this episode. Runway. Runway. Playing with Elytra. Um, talking about Minecon mobs. Stuff like that. So, um. Here's the thing. This video is probably going to come out a little bit after Minecon. Minecon is on the, uh. 6th. <laughs> 16th, I think. Why can't I shoot? Why is my bow not working? What the freak is going on? Okay, run. Just, just run. I don't know why my bow isn't working. What's going on? Where are my arrows? Oh no, where are my arrows? Oh no! Did I accidentally put my arrows upstairs? I don't think I did. No, I didn't. How long have I been going without arrows? Oh no. That scares me because I was just outside messing with a creeper not that long ago. And I thought, well, I have arrows in case I need to back off. Then I just went in full blazing with my sword. Oh my gosh. So we're gonna wanna get this for this episode. Um I did make fireworks as you can see. Where are my arrows? I have no clue where they are. Cause I wasn't paying attention to anything. I so I for all I know, they could be over at the village still. Where, where did they go? Where did they go? Where, okay, no, seriously, where? My arrows are missing. Did I just, did they just like all despawn or something? I'll take these. Okay. So, yeah, this will be posted a little bit after Minecon. Um... Because today is Thursday. Minecon is Saturday. Do you know where I will be Saturday? <gasps> Up at a um, camp out participating in a chili cook off. And I'm not going to be able to help um, or do the vote for the uh, mob, unfortunately. So. Unfortunately, I won't be able to vote for the mob. But, um, so we have the uh, glare, the allay or ally, and the copper golem. Now, personally, I want the copper golem because, or not the copper golem, dang it. Personally, I want the glare. Because with the newfound information, um, the allay or ally will not collect just any item for you. They can't access chests and they can't like break items to bring you. So if you give them a diamond, they're not going to bring you a diamond back unless you had just like dropped a diamond somewhere. So they're not going to bring you materials in that. So, boohoo. Unfortunately,
So yeah. I'm actually get rid of my stake. I can No. Nope. Nope, we're getting rid of the shovel. Don't think I need to use the shovel. That freaking creeper I saw earlier is going to sneak up on me. I can feel it. Every time I look over there, it looks like Bolts is out. But he's not. Okay, um, anyway. The reason I want the glare is... Because I'm not very good with lighting up caves. Like, I can do it, but then I just get lazy and then I don't do it. Half the times I run through caves, like, I don't even put the torches. I just run through to lava, that way I can see and then just continue on with whatever the heck I was doing. So yeah, I'm not the best when it comes to, um, lighting up a cave. All right, all right, all right, all right. Looking pretty good. Now, I don't think the glare is going to win unless they announce something really awesome at Minecon. Because, um, from now, from where we're standing right now with the glare, he doesn't look to have many interesting, um, things going for him. So, it just looks like the glare as well. Oh, look, it's the glare. Wow. That's kind of where it looks to be standing about now. So, hopefully, we get some news of something else they can do other than just show the players dark areas. Because I already know that whenever this update comes out and I start my, uh, Minecraft Survival Season 2. I already know that I'm just gonna go to the cave and not even try to find where the dark places are. I already know that. So... I don't think it needs to be said much, but I'm lazy. I I'm not going to look for the the um dark places to put light. I'm just not. Which is why I want the glare. It'll do some of the work for me that way. If I have to look for where to put light, I I know where to put it. I don't have to wait for this, or I don't have to go around looking myself. I can just go, yo glare, find me a dark spot, and it'll find me a dark spot, and boom, easy, I'm done. But, nothing is ever that easy, so. I do think that either the LA or Copper Golem is going to win, because Considering where I'm, where the uh, um, glare is standing, it's not looking too good for him, unfortunately. Although I would like that. Okay, so in the first mob vote, we had the um, creature of the night skies, the great hunger, um, the ocean titan, I think, and the hovering inferno. Now I would love. If they were added. Like, why do we have to, like, wait for them? I mean, obviously we're not waiting for them. They're forever gone. But why do they have to be gone forever? Can't they just be added eventually? Because, um, I'm not absolutely positive about this. But I believe the Isolager is, or the Chilliger, whatever you want to call it. Chilliger, Isolager. 
I just call it Ice Soldier because, I mean, that's what I'm used to. Everyone else is... Everyone around me is calling it an Ice Soldier, not a Chillager. But whenever you get into the name department, I like Chillager. I actually like that name a lot. So... Yeah, if... I think... Or wait, where was I? Um, the ch the Isologer. Yeah. Apparently, that's supposed to be getting added eventually. But that's just what I've heard, so... Maybe it's not getting ad added, maybe it is. I don't know. All right. Sweet. Okay. So we got this now. Let's uh finish up. Oh shoot. So, really, if it was up to me, I would pick the glare, but I actually don't have a problem with any of these Minecon, Minecon mobs, mostly because the old Minecon mobs, like, don't get me wrong, I love Dream, I love his videos, but the glow squid, I've used the glow squid in this world a few times once to light up these uh, signs and down here in the treasure room for item frames that's really the only time I've used the um, glow squid I put the little compass on the lodestone but yeah that's really the only time I've used the glow squid I don't see a need for having the glow squid except for making the caves more interesting with having the glowing squid. But yeah, that's my argument. I don't see a need in having it, but personally, oh, I am flying. Oh. No! I did it flawlessly earlier. I flew over to the village and back just to see how good I was with Elytra. Because I'm semi good on creative mode with the Elytra. I was just seeing if it's like the same in survival, and it pretty much is. But of course, first time recording it. I screw up. Only really need two rockets to get to the uh, village. Sometimes I use three because I want to be a little bit of a show off. But yeah, it's pretty easy. Oh, right, I have iron in that here. Um. We're going to forget that I have that. So where do we want to put the run runway at the village? I'm thinking... Well, this is just me here. I'm thinking we should put it... Behind all the stuff we have up here. And the reason I think that is because I'm probably going to be over here most of the time. With the villagers, farms, and that. So I have a f Get in there. Dang it. So I'm thinking behind here. But I already have the, um... 
automatic sheep farm, which might take up some area. But yeah, let's put it here, since here's probably where I'm going to be spending most of the time at. So, let's go right here. Shaboom. Shaboom. Got another stone mason. Lovely. I don't need one. Thanks for volunteering, but I don't need one. I'm good. Alright. Yeah, let's uh, just... Yep. Okay. Does anybody remember what the measurement on the other one was? No? Okay. Okay, there we go. How many do I have extra? Six. Not bad. So I think I've been out like one, two, three, one, one, two, two, three, and then. Right here is like where the thing is and that. Okay. Alright, so one, two, three, four, five, six. And this I'm going to want. Eighteen, I think. I probably butchered that. I'm not good with math at all. That is probably way over. I, I know I don't need that much. But, who knows, maybe I actually do. <clears throat> so, yeah, I think the Copper Golem or the LA is going to win. If I had to guess... I would say that the Copper Golem is going to win. Now, why am I saying that? Because, well, we have a Snow Golem and we have an Iron Golem. And I know there have been people wanting a new Golem for a long, long time. Even some of my friends have said, Are they ever going to add that Melon Golem, the Snow Golem with a Melon Head? Well... I mean, they were going to add it, I think. I think they were. But then they never did. So, I don't know. Personally, I don't want them to add that. Because it's kind of just a retextured snow golem. But now this copper golem has given Minecraft new hope. Not that Minecraft was bad, but like, hey, a new golem? The community has wanted a new golem for a while, and now you're giving them the ability to vote for a new golem. So obviously, some people are going to love that, and maybe enough people that we get a new golem. Now, I don't know if you'll be able to, um... So the Copper Golem oxidizes and becomes a statue. Statues! People who decorate would love to have statues. So there's just another amazing reason to vote for it. So right there, another good reason to vote for it. But if the LA were to win, I wouldn't be surprised because 
Some people might think, oh, free diamonds, free netherite. Yeah, I want this mob. But it's not going to be like that in reality. Once they figure out that it has to have mobs that are just, or it has to collect stuff that's just lying around, they're going to be sad. But really, it doesn't bother me that much. What, on which one wins? It doesn't bother me. I would love to have the glare. It gives another creature to the lush caves and makes the caves a little bit more interesting. Sure. But it doesn't bother me that much. I'm not fussed by what creature we get. Or what, yeah, what creature. I'm not fussed by what mob we get. I'm really not. So, I'm fine. Whatever we get, that's alright. That's alright by me. Light your durability. Okay. I can repair this. Yeah, I can repair this. Alright. So, I am going to start a, a new series. Um... So, I no longer think I'm going to do treasure, mostly because it's kind of me doing the exact same thing that I'm going to be doing in Minecraft Survival. Collecting stuff, making a treasure room, and putting it in the treasure room. Basically, that's it. So, no more treasure. If you liked that series, I'm sorry, but it only had two episodes, so were you really even that impressed with the series? A two episode series that is now no longer sorry if something comes up I might start doing it again but really I don't want to do it I just not that it wasn't fun but I, I don't need a reason Let's see, can I fly into my uh, mountain base? <gasps> yes! I did it! I'm actually surprised. I didn't think I'd be able to do it. Experience! Nice! What was this snow, snow for? I actually don't know. I know I was doing something, but to be honest, I forget. I never even used this house in these chests. I never used any of this. That's sad. Ooh, here would be a good place to put another runway. Because I really don't have one here. Oh, that's fine. I can always just, uh... Just do this. Oh, yeah, I can go on top of my Rubik's Cube now. So, oh, no. Oh, no. I didn't want to use that rocket. Dang it. That's fine. Okay. So, um, the plan for that Rubik's Cube was I was going to put those sheep in there, but it, it it's filled with monsters by now. I know it. Ah. So, yeah, um, I'm starting a new series where, if you remember the Rubik's Cube episode, I was kind of silent and didn't really say anything during that entire thing. So... 
I'm kind of just going to start a series like that because that was fun. Kind of just getting able to think while building and not make and not having to commentate like I am now. That was it was fun. Here's why I collected the stone for that. Powdered snow. Okay. Anyway, so it's going to be called Just Build. The first episode of Just Build will be coming out right. Well, not the same day as this, but the day after this comes out. So, yeah. So, hope you can look forward to that, um, series. I'm, it's going to be really fun to make, I think. Because, that's one of the things I just like to do, is just go into a creative world and just build. Don't know what I'm going to build? I really don't. It's just, I'm gonna build. So, it... <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to build. I really don't. It's just going to be like whatever I feel like. So. Yeah. I think the Copper Golem is going to win. And I'm starting a new series. Those were the only things I was going to talk about in this episode. And now that I've talked about them. I don't know what to do. Because the video's over. I wanted to play with my Elytra more, but I've ran out of things to talk about, so now I don't know what to do. I need to plan more interesting things to talk about. Because, like, I'm semi-good at commentating, but I lose my train of thought very easily. So, like, if I'm going to be building and then... I get focused in the building, I forget what I was going to do. Let's glide over it. I don't know if I glid. Maybe I... Glid? Glid. I think that's proper English. I'm not sure. I think I did good. I'll harvest my bees. I haven't done that in a long time. I'm surprised they still even are living here. But there's like so few bees now. Like, did I kill some by accident? Are they despawning? What's going on? But yeah, I need to start writing down things to talk about while filming. Because I talk, I like think of one thing and then spend the whole time talking about that and losing my train of thought whenever if I want to make like a longer episode. I kind of have more interesting things to talk about. Because normally what I'm doing is, what I'm doing is, I talk about what I'm doing. So like during the Woodland Mansion episode, I was like, Okay, so we're going to go in here, we're going to do this, we're going to get out, we're going to go home. Okay, we did this, now we're on our way home, so let's uh, go through the nether tunnels. Yep, yeah, boring, I know. So, I want to start talking about things like, I want to talk about, like, so, as some of you know, I'm a dinosaur nerd. One of the things I could talk about is the two new Spinosaurid species that had been discovered, like, in the same area. So, a normal, so, um, we of course have the leader of the Spinosaurid family, Spina frickin' Saurus, my, one of my favorite carnivores. 
is Spinosaurus. Another is Carnotaurus, Dilophosaurus. Some of my favorite carnivores. And the original Spinosaur family was Spinosaurus, Baryonyx, Suchomimus, and one other one, which I can't think of the name right now. But it was a family of four Spinosaurids, and now that two more had been discovered, the family has now gone up to six Spinosaurids. I had to do some math. Four plus two is six. Yes, I'm not very good with math. I had to think about it for a moment. But yeah. So I could talk about like dinosaur news, um, Minecraft news, which is kind of what I just talked about, and other stuff. Space news, I'm kind of into space, so yeah. I could do stuff like that. So yeah. That's kind of it for this episode. Hope you have enjoyed, I hope I haven't been too boring lately. Although I probably have been. So, yep, that's basically it. <laughs> I hope you guys have enjoyed. Um, I'm going to go play along with my elytra while I don't have to commentate. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!